Select the mismatch with respect to hormone listed and its target. Let us see the options. Corticotrophin acts on zona glomerulosa. So, corticotrophin is adrenocorticotrophic hormone. This adrenocorticotrophic hormone acts on the zona fasciculata and zona reticulosa. But it does not act on zona glomerulosa which mainly secretes mineralocorticoids like aldosterone under the influence of angiotensin 2. So this option is incorrect. Melanotropin acts on melanocytes. This is correct. Thyrotropins acts on follicular cells in the thyroid gland to release thyroxin. So this is also correct. Gonadotrophins act on ovary. This is also correct. Gonadotrophins are follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone which act on ovary which in turn releases estrogen and progesterone. So correct option in this case becomes option number one that is corticotrophin does not act on zona glomerulosa. Let us see the next question students. Question number 142. Actions of peptide hormone released from gland present on dorsal side of thyroid does not include that is they are talking about the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid hormone maintains calcium homeostasis and is considered as a hypercalcemic hormone which means that it will increase the level of calcium in blood to maintain homeostasis. Let us see the options. Increased release of calcium from bones is correct. Increase the blood calcium level by fetching calcium ions from bones when required. Number two. Enhanced reabsorption of calcium from nephrons. This is also correct so that the calcium availability in blood can be maintained. Number three, promotes calcium absorption from digested food. This is also correct. Number four, enhanced reabsorption of phosphate from nephric filtrate. Now, this is an incorrect option as parathormone is a hypercalcemic hormone, is also hypo. Phosphatemic, that is, it decreases phosphate in blood. So, this is incorrect as this would lead to increased phosphate concentration in blood. So, the correct answer becomes option number 4. Let us move to the next question, students. Question number 143. Read the given statements. Number 1. Immune response of old people becomes weak with aging. This is a correct statement. As people age, the immunity weakens and people are more prone to infections. Number two, thymus degenerates in old individuals resulting in decreased production of thymosin. This also is a correct statement. As thymosin, which is secreted by the thymus, is responsible for The differentiation of T lymphocytes, which have a major role in providing acquired immunity to the person. Therefore, with continued degeneration, of thymus, there is reduction in thymosin which contributes to weak immunity of older individuals. So, this statement correctly explains statement number 1. So, the question asks us to choose the correct option. Let us see. Option number 1. Statement 1 is true while statement 2 is false. This is incorrect as both statements are true. Number 2. Statement 2 is true while statement 1 is false. Also incorrect. Number 3. 
statement 2 is correct explanation of statement 1. This is the correct option. Number 4, statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1. This is incorrect. So, the correct answer in this case becomes option number 3. That is, statement 2 explains statement number 1. Let us move to the next question, students. Question number 144. Select the correct match between column A and column B. Let us see. Gestational hormone FSH. FSH is follicle stimulating hormone which stimulates the growth of the graphene follicle in the proliferative phase of menstrual cycle. So this is incorrect as gestational hormone is progesterone. Option number 2, blood pressure lowering hormone renin. This is also incorrect as renin is responsible for increasing the blood pressure through mechanism of RAS that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Number 3, hormone responsible for female libido is estrogen. This is correct as libido is the sex drive of the person and estrogen is responsible for increasing female libido whereas in males it is testosterone which is responsible for increasing the libido. Number four, hypothalamic hormone ACTH. ACTH is adrenocorticotrophic hormone which is released by the anterior pituitary. So, this is also incorrect. So, the correct match out of all the four is option number three. Let us see the next question, students. Question number 145. Which of the following is not the correct match between the characteristic listed and example quoted? Number one, hyperglycemic hormone cortisol. This is correct as cortisol, which is secreted by zona fasciculata of adrenal cortex, is a hormone which promotes gluconeogenesis that is formation of glucose from non-carbohydrate compounds. Number two, hypoglycemic hormone glucagon. This is incorrect as glucagon is a hyperglycemic hormone. It is secreted by the alpha cells of islets of Langerhans of pancreas and it increases the blood glucose level and has antagonistic action to insulin. Number three, hypocalcemic hormone thyrocalcitonin. This is a correct option as thyrocalcitonin is hypocalcemic and hypercalcemic hormone is parathormone. which is PTH. Number four, gonadotropic hormone, luteinizing hormone. This also is a correct option as luteinizing hormone is secreted by anterior pituitary and acts on the gonads that is testes and ovaries. In the testes, it stimulates the secretion of testosterone and in ovaries, it stimulates the secretion of progesterone. So, this is also correct. So, the incorrect match is option number 2. So, our answer becomes option number 2. Let us see the next question, students. 